Welcome to the Sticky Art Channel, and in this video I'm going to find out if Amazon is selling fake Prismacolor pencils. So about a year ago I posted a video on here on how to spot fake Prismacolor pencils, and over the past few months I've gotten a handful of people commenting letting me know that Amazon is selling fake Prismacolor pencils. For your information, anyone can sell on Amazon. I watched a documentary on Amazon that showed people taking stuff from the dumpsters to sell on Amazon. Um, so I watched the video and legitimately people are doing that. I think it's a small amount of people, but there is a possibility that you could buy, be buying something on Amazon that came out of a dumpster. If you wanna watch that, I believe it's on the Wall Street Journal. I will provide the links to that video in the video description below. But anyways, I wanted to find out specifically if Prismacolor pencils on Amazon are fakes or if you can buy legitimate pencils from them considering they are one of the cheaper online sources for Prismacolor pencils. So looking at them, I pulled them up on Amazon. This is 2020 model of Prismacolor pencils. It's the new tin with the butterfly. And looking at the 72 count, it's actually on sale right now. It's at a really good price of $34.99. And the 36 pack was also on sale, so I decided to go ahead and compare those since I'm going to be buying multiple packs of them. I wanted to compare. So that was $27 shipped, free shipping, and it's got 4.8 out of 5 stars. So I did look at the negative reviews, and there were a few of them that claimed that the ones that they got were fakes, which is a possibility considering Amazon does use a fulfillment process where they actually will have anybody that is a seller can send items into Amazon and then the items are then processed and then shipped out to the customer. And with that being said, you can get fakes on there. Um, so it's just something to look out and know about. However, I have not really experienced that myself and I wanted to test it out with these 2020 models. So I went ahead and bought on Amazon as well as from a known or retailer michaels that i purchased them on they were more expensive and i did have to pay shipping so they ended up being with a 40 percent coupon 32 dollars and 95 cents and it was also i believe eight dollars for shipping so they end up being closer to like 44 dollars not completely double but almost double the price of amazon and amazon has had the 36 pack on sale for cheaper at some points they sometimes are cheaper at random points during the year, and typically during the holidays, they always seem to be more expensive. So if you do plan on buying them, don't buy them around Christmas time, right before, or anywhere in that time. They seem to hike up the prices almost to full retail, even on Amazon. I went ahead and marked all of the Prismacolor pencil tins with where I purchased them from, just so I don't lose track. So I do have a 2019 set. You can see it was a different cover on 2019. The cover art has changed to now on 2020, the butterflies. And I'm just gonna compare these two mainly um, just because they should be identical. So looking at the front of the tin, the cover art, to me, I could not see anything with my naked eye. I even used kind of a zoom on my camera and I was not able to see anything different with the printing. So that checks out. On the sides, you can see there is a little lip or a little ledge on the actual tin. That is going to be only on authentic ones. I have seen some that are knockoff ones that did not have that. So on the top two, you can see on the one side or the left side of the box, looking at it from the top down, um, it does not have any shrink line. But on the other sides, it does have that shrink wrap line. So that is one part of it that if you see that when you buy them and you pay attention to that, um, do notice that the genuines will be just like that. They should not have a line on the other side. So the other thing I looked on the back and I looked at both the colors and they were identical to my eye. I could not see anything different, which is a pretty tricky thing to match if they are not genuine. If they are gonna be knockoffs, usually they'll be somewhat off, um, especially if you're holding one next to a genuine one, it's a lot easier to see. So one other thing that I noticed is on the covers after they were sitting next to each other is that they are somewhat printed, somewhat offset. That red bar is a little bit higher on the right side than on the left, but I did switch the two next to each other and made sure that both of them have that kind of idiosyncrasy in the printing. 
Um, I don't know if that was a design flaw or if that's just how the printing works. Sometimes it does get offset, but I did notice that after looking at them a little bit closer. So looking inside, first look up inside the covers, I wanted to turn all the labels around just so I could see them easily and compare them. So checking them out, they do have all the security features and the features that genuine Prismacolors do have with that reflective chrome. I did notice that on the Amazon set, they were a little bit more damaged. At least the top layer of pencils were a little more um, beat up than the other ones. On the Michaels, I did not really notice anything like that. And that could just be an issue with shipping. That can happen in pretty much any part of shipping. So I'm not too worried about it, but I will definitely keep an eye out. And I did check too. I kind of scratched the pencils too and made sure that none of the paint comes off. Um, with genuine Prismacolors, they are not gonna have paint that comes off or chips off easily. If you do see paint on the outside casing that comes off easily, it may be a sign that they are indeed knockoffs. So once I took the pencils out of the tin, I did wanna point out that on the bottom of this one, there was a stamp, and then in the middle of this one, there was another stamp. I'm guessing these are just quality checks. I'm not sure what exactly they are, but when I smudged it with my finger, I noticed on both of them, they did smudge a little bit. Um, it didn't really rub off on my finger, but it did smudge, as you can see, it didn't, the ink does not set on the metal like it should. So that is just an indicator. Both of these most likely are genuine. One thing that I did notice that was a little strange was that on the Amazon white, it was a little bit bigger core. Um, that's not necessarily to mean that it is a knockoff. There could have been some kind of issue or something that happened at the plant when it was made, but I did find that a little bit interesting. Um, they do have a pretty stringent core size. Um, so almost all the cores are measured and made sure that they are the right side. Um, so the one thing I would say that is a known issue with Prismacolors is having the actual core offset. Um, but just expect if you buy a 36 pack, you're probably gonna get four or five uh, pencils that are offset. If you look really close at any of the Prismacolor pencils that are genuine, you're gonna notice that it's two pieces of wood glued together. So they actually cut a piece of wood, make a river down it, um, or a ravine, and then they put the core in it, and then they glue the two pieces of wood together to kind of make a sandwich. So you can kind of see that on both of these. Um, if it's in person and you look really close, you'll definitely be able to see it. Um, and that just indicates that they are genuine products, or at least done in the same way that the genuine products are made. Another feature that is going to be on genuine Prismacolors, that'll help you tell them apart from fakes, is on the actual barrel of the pencil, there will be an imprint of where they are made. So you can see on these, there is a Mexico imprinted on all of them. And this was on both the Amazon and Michaels. One other little idiosyncrasy that I found interesting was that all of the pencils were in the same order except for one of them. Um, the two were switched. You can see the two greens, the dark green and the light green were switched in both of the cases. Um, I don't know if that's an indicator of anything. It could just be at the plant that they got put in and somehow switched. The final test, and I think the best test of Prismacolors, it's, but is to actually use them on paper. So with a authentic Prismacolor pencil, they are a wax-based soft core, meaning that the feel of them is going to be softer than, say, a number two graphite pencil, so a standard pencil. And the more you use them and burnish the paper, the softer they will be, and the more they are going to be able to blend as well as layer that way. So I went through and did all of them. I did the Michaels on top right next to the, to the ones from Amazon. And looking at every single one, the pigment load, everything on them looks identical. I really could not see anything that was noticeably different. Um, and, and there is a potential for slight differences considering each batch is made and it is a different amount of pigment, but they do have very, very strict regulations at Prismacolor to keep the colors the same. Um, and they do sell open stock. So when you do buy open stock, the open stock should match your pack. Um, and they've tried to keep that for many, many years. Overall, I still really like Prismacolor pencils. I think all of these are great, the ones that I've gotten. If you do have any issues with them, 
um, and you do order some from, say, Amazon and they're not right, I would highly recommend getting a hold of Amazon and returning them. With Amazon, the process is pretty easy. You can just return them. And if you're looking to save a little bit of money, it might be a good way to go. Um, I will provide the links to all the products that I used in the video description below. Since both of the Prismacolor packs from Michaels as well as Amazon seem to be genuine and pass the test, I do not need them, so I do plan on doing a giveaway. Um, go ahead and check out my Instagram to find out more information on the giveaway. It's at Sticky Art Channel. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. I hope this video was helpful. If you did like it, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you'd like more videos, hit the subscribe button and as well as notifications to be notified when I post. And until next time, peace.